Let's start with question number 27. The kinetic energy of a planet in elliptical orbit around the sun at positions A, B and C are kinetic energy A, kinetic energy B and kinetic energy C. AC is the major axis as you can see and SB is perpendicular to AC at the position of sun, right? So the relation between the kinetic energy is being asked. A very common funda is this that if the planet is at the farther point, the force of attraction will be lesser. So centrifugal force will have to be lesser. So velocity will be less at C, right? And here it is closest to sun. So force of attraction would be highest. So centrifugal force should be highest. Therefore, the velocity at should be highest. So highest velocity at A, lowest at C and in between will be B. So maximum kinetic energy will be at A, lowest will be at C and the B will be intermediate. So option 2 is the correct answer. So answer to this question is option 2. Right? Let's move forward. Let's start question number 28. Here the mass of sun were 10 times smaller and the universal gravitational constant were 10 times larger. So G is made to 10G in the magnitude. Which of the following is not correct? So it is very important term not correct. So let's see the solutions. Formula for small g on earth is capital G M E divided by radius of earth square, right? So there is no effect of mass of sun here. So this statement that sun's mass was 10, it's of no use, right? Now if I increase g to 10 folds, so g dash would be 10 g m e upon r square. Basically g dash would be 10 times of g. That means effect of gravity will increase. So raindrops will fall faster, yes it is correct. Walking on the ground will be difficult, yes it is correct. Time period of simple pendulum on earth would decrease, yes, because t is equals to 2 pi under root L by g. So, here the thing that is wrong is third option that g on earth will not change. It has changed, it has changed, it has changed, it So, correct answer to this question would be answer 3. Right? Let's move forward. 